Mr. Byberger links it to several other policies. And there is, we can always argue, therefore, what is, how are we fulfilling fiduciary duty when we're trying to minimize risk and maximize return in a safe way? So certain policies, for example, tobacco policy, we have lost a certain amount of money with that policy change. That's unfortunate. I don't particularly like smoking, even though I have to make a living eating smoke, so to speak. But that loss, that small financial loss, had to be made up by somebody. It was made up mainly by the city of San Francisco itself, but now because of the new fee sharing or contribution sharing by the city employees and the sheriff, the active city employees will also pay a small piece of that <coughs> small loss. So every one of these policies, at least to the best, has an effect. As for the issue of remorse, I guess one of the facts that sometimes we expect staff when they do research on any social investment policies is these issues of the allegations and whatever caused any of the banks to sign an agreement and pay a fine or a settlement or redo their work. It's a very complicated lawsuit. But what does settlement really mean? Does it mean they were guilty of what they were accused of, or did they make a business reason to just settle it and move on? It's always one of those arguments about settlement. I know the city often recommends the city go into settlements for that very reason, just to end the case. There's no judgment of guilt. If there's no guilt, why should people want to do remorse? Perhaps more importantly, it's not that remorse is worthless, but the, in a sense, one of the other items that Commissioner Myberg has spoke to, and so did Mr. Stansbury, about going forward, will there be change, will there be improvement so people know they can buy homes safely, they can stay in their homes safely, they can make other plans, since people use the equity in their homes to do many things, to include retire, putting their children through college, a whole host of reasons. It's their asset that they run their life around. So again, uh, in terms of voting for the level one and level two, I do not see where the case has been made that any of these banks are guilty of items that we need to tell them to change. I think the banks <laughs> have already started to change long before this came. Why did they do that? The banks have their own reasons for running a intelligent, fair operations. They have their own reasons why they want to be a sustainable entity. But as for this issue of how this motion that is before us, voting no on level one and level two, yes, I am prepared to vote on that. If there's no further comments, we're going to open up to public comment.